Welcome to the best of Bernie's Abouts. In this week's episode, we take a look back at one of Borough's best ever strikers. His time in Teesside was mad with controversy, but nevertheless, he scored some spectacular goals. The man in question, Fabrizio Ravenel. It's a goal. Ravenel. During his time in Teesside, this was Rav's local, the weak chief in in Hutton Rugby, and from time to time, he was known to throw a few darts. I got over my fear of flying and went to Rome to throw him a few questions. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic movies, oh, yeah, far, far, far Bombay, come on and fly with me. Where exactly let's are we? Fly, right, at the moment, away. we're just coming to the south of the Alps. Um, Austria, round to the left, and uh, Switzerland, Swiss Alps on the right hand side. And uh, just been over in front of us, beneath the mist, you can see there. There's the, uh, the Italian lakes uh, with Milan just to the right hand side, Venice over to the left. Can't really see very much over there, unfortunately. But um, over 33,000 feet at the minute. This week, a special edition of Bernie's About, we're here in Rome to talk to Fabrizio Ravinelli. Alongside me is his cousin Silvio, who incidentally is a big Borough fan. Silvio, where did it all start? What was your first game? Well, it was actually ten years ago at Harrison Park, uh, and you were playing. Uh, it was against uh, Barnsley. Do you think Fabrizio would have liked to play it against Barnsley? Uh, not too sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think before we do the interview, I think we should go and see a few oh, yeah, sites around. Are going to show us a few? Oh, yeah, definitely. Come on, then, let's go. Were you as surprised as anyone when Fabrizio came to Teesside to join Middlesbrough? Oh yes, I was very, very surprised uh, because obviously coming from a, a big club like, like Juventus, yeah. uh, it, was, um, it was a shock <laughs> to me. Was it a shock? Yeah. So looking at these coins, you know, we're sitting here by the phone. What, what, yeah. what do you do with these coins? What's well, the... actually Bernie, if you toss a coin uh, oh, it's just yeah, like into the fountain, then, then you're certain to return to Rome. So you, you will be oh, returning I certainly, to I certainly Rome. want to return, right? Are we ready? Do we do it together? Yeah, yeah. One, two, two three. three. Yeah. Silvio, don't worry. I'll play it back in Spencer. <laughs> yeah, I'm assured of that. Come on, we're OK. <laughs> Come on. Oh, dear. But how is it? Okay. I feel every time I'll tell you. <laughs> I heard that Rob was looking for two Italians, but it to be exclusive. Here they are. We're off to see Rav now. What can we expect? Is he a fiery character? Oh yes, he is. And he will uh, set the record straight with you. I'm pretty sure about that. Will he be honest? Oh yes, definitely. And uh, Middlesbrough fans will have uh, finally the chance to, to know the truth. Rav, you began your professional career at hometown club Perugia, where you scored 41 league goals in 90 appearances. Was it always an ambition to play for them? Yes, Perugia at the time when I was a young boy were playing in the Serie A and doing very well. I was a local lad, mad about football. I used to support Perugia as well as Juventus 
and the football players playing for them were my idols. Perugia were the team I would refer to. So one day to wear the Perugia shirt was wonderful, as well as playing as a protagonist in that stadium in which so many important players had played. It was fantastic. You did not make your Serie A debut until the age of 24. Why did it take you so long? Well, because in those days, football was different. At the end of the 80s and beginning of the 90s, it was difficult for a young football player to play in the Serie A at the age of 20. There were few young players around. Now it's all changed. Now young players are given a chance quite easily by clubs. You went to Juventus in 1992. Would you class that as a dream move? Yes, it was a dream. At that time, nowadays, and in the history of football, Juventus have always been one of the greatest clubs in Italy and in the world. I used to support Juventus, so it was a fantastic dream move. I remember my first day there. I was sweating and shaking, very, very nervous. Playing alongside the likes of Vialli, Roberto Baggio, Giulio Cesar, Kohler, Muller and David Platt was fantastic. I settled in gradually and then established myself as a regular first team player. The time at Juventus was very satisfactory for me.